It was one of the worst days for stock markets since early in the pandemic, with investors losing more than a trillion dollars in wealth in a single trading session. All major U.S. indices fell overnight, led by the tech-heavy Nasdaq, which dropped more than 5%. Facebook parent Meta was down more than 9%, and shares in chipmaker NVIDIA lost a similar amount. And the pessimism is spreading to other financial centers. In Asia, Japan's Nikkei index has lost almost 3%, while European stocks are on track for steep declines throughout the day. The bloodbath comes after the U.S. reported that consumer prices in the world's largest economy rose more than 8% in August. That's lower than July's reading, but still higher than most forecasts. Now, for more, let's go to Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Avatrade in London. Welcome back to the program, Naeem. Now, could you just walk us through this reaction or some might say overreaction to the U.S. inflation numbers overnight. Sure. Thanks for having me. Paolo, I think you have hit a lot of points straight. Um, to, uh, you've highlighted the most important aspects, which is inflation is running still hot. And the bullets which are being fired by the Federal Reserve in terms of interest rate hikes, they've not been able to kill or tame inflation so far. Market was expecting that perhaps we have seen a peak in terms of the U.S. inflation, and the data has confirmed that, yes, we haven't gone beyond that level yet. But what, where the disappointment comes in terms of a market's reaction is the market players were anticipating a reading a slightly less than what the actual print was. And that has really created a lot of speculations in the market. Now, there are two important things for us to pay attention to. Number one, traders and investors are highly worried that the next interest rate hike could be a full percentage point. Yes, a full percentage point. Now, the second and the most important thing is how that is really going to influence economic growth, which is already under immense pressure. Hence, we've seen this tremendous sell-off across markets. Although, having said that today, we do see a bit of a green coming back. Right, but does this inflation number really materially change the inflation outlook for the U.S.? And as you mentioned there, some speculating a full percentage point hike in interest rates by the U.S. Federal Reserve later this month. Could you just briefly tell us how higher interest rates affect households and consumers? Yes. So for, for, for consumers' perspective, you have less disposable income, which I have touched on your segments several times previously. Less money in our pocket, unwillingly money leaving our pocket, either for the mortgage repayments, credit card payments, or for your groceries. That is a direct result. All right. Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Avatrade. Thank you for joining the program.